A modernized Su-57 stealth fighter jet took to the skies on its maiden flight on October 21, 2022, at Zhukovsky Flight Test Center near Moscow. According to UAC, the aircraft was piloted by a test pilot of the Suhoi Experimental Design Bureau, Sergei Bogdan. The 56 minutes test flight was incident-free. A set of onboard equipment with extended functionality, intelligent crew support, and the possibility of using a wide range of new weapons is being tested on the aircraft. It is also possible to install the engine of the second stage on the aircraft. Intelligent crew support allows the Su-57's onboard computer to perform co-piloting tasks, freeing the pilot to focus on critical functions. The aircraft takes over piloting and preparing the use of weapons, according to Yuri Slyasar, Director General of the UAC. The aircraft also features a high degree of intelligent automation in combat. On July 28, 2021, Nikita Dorofeyev, head of the cockpit department of the Suhoi Design Bureau, said that in the future, a Su-57 pilot would be able to control the plane with eye movements or voice. Despite the complexity of such a system, since the human pupil is constantly moving unconsciously, its prototype already exists, Dorofeyev pointed out. Also, at present, the task is to teach the system to understand not learned phrases, but the context, so that in extreme conditions, the pilot does not need to remember exactly which phrase he should pronounce. According to Rafael Sulemanov, test pilot of the Suhoi Design Bureau, the intelligent crew support allows the Su-57 to perform everything in the air. Piloting this aircraft is very pleasant and comfortable. It allows you to perform everything in the air. These capabilities, coupled with powerful weapons that allow you to perform tasks both in the air and on the ground, in any weather conditions, day and night, in any latitudes, make it a potent weapon in the hands of the pilots. Sulemanov also noted that the generations of Su aircraft are very similar. Pilots who fly the Su-35 can easily fly the fifth-generation fighter. When originally conceived, the Su-57 was envisaged to be powered by a clean-sheet design new engine referred to as Isdelier, Product 30, which would enable it to cruise at supersonic speed without the use of gas guzzling afterburners. The aircraft was, however, developed and tested using an interim power plant NPO Saturn Product 117 engine, which is derived from the AL41F1S after burning turbofans developed for the Su-35. The Isdali A30 will improve the thrust and fuel efficiency of the fighter and reduce weight and maintenance requirements. The Isdali A30 engine was first flight tested on December 5, 2017. Since then, the engine has undergone intensive flight testing. As of October 2019, the engine had undergone 16 flight tests on a modified Su-57. In December 2019, Izvestia quoted Yuri Slyasar, general director of the UAC, saying that the Stage 2 engine was undergoing intensive testing. The engine had been flight tested for thrust vectoring, and its oil system had been tested under adverse flight conditions. Bench testing of the engine, too, was ongoing. An employee of the Suhoi Design Bureau said that unlike fourth-generation fighters, the Su-57 can maintain supersonic speeds during most of its mission profile, even when engaged in combat. If a fourth-generation aircraft lives at subsonic speeds most of the time and goes to perform specific combat missions at supersonic flight speeds, then this aircraft, Su-57, is designed for most of its life at supersonic flight speeds. On September 22, 2022, Rostec said that a new batch of Su-57 fighters would go to the Russian Aerospace Forces soon, and the pace of aircraft production would be increased. The director of the state corporation, Sergei Chemizov, said that the Su-57s are in a high degree of readiness, and the machines will go to the Russian Aerospace Forces this year.